Hi everyone, welcome back to Tintana. My name is Anna. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at this Pilot Falcon uh, fountain pen. So I've had this pen for a while now. I haven't really um, used it a lot. I thought it would be a good time to make a review of this uh, fountain pen. So this is the gift box. It comes in. So a very nice uh, presentation from Pilot as usual. So this is in soft fine uh nib as you can see i still have that sticker and then um as with other pilot pens it also comes with their um user and care guide it also comes uh, with uh, one blue um ink cartridge and this one has the coin uh 40 um ink converter I was hoping that it will come in like a Con50 converter, but mine didn't. All right, so we're going to take a look at um, the properties of the pen. And also, I am going to provide you a writing sample um, also. All right, so the Pilot Falcon is also known as uh, the Mickey Falcon. I think that was the old name. And it comes in two trim. So the one I have here is the Chrome trim. And I think they also sell this in gold trim. So this one comes in a variety of colors. They sell this in, I think, black, blue red and i think purple so this one is in red and it comes in either a resin body or like a metal body so this specific one that i have here comes in a resin uh, body so this is actually um, a lighter pen i think much lighter than the metropolitan in the look and feel of this it is a well-made pen um it is rather simple and classic um i like the the finish of this pen um, the clip actually is secure without it being stiff and the cap is screw on so you screw it on screw it off and um, the metal falcon actually is uh, longer you know in body than the resin falcon and i think if i'm not mistaken that one can take i think a con 70 uh, push type um, converter but this one does not take that it's not i think long enough um for that so this is a light pen and it will not tire your hand you know if you write with it for an extended period of time and um i specifically got this pen because i wanted a flex pen and upon research you know in the fountain pen community um they recommend to get you know a pilot falcon because this has a good amount of flex to it although this is not specifically marketed as um, a flex pen so let's take a look at the size of this pen i happen to have a ruler here so with this pen unposted it looks like this is about you know just over um five inches maybe 5.5 inches um, that's kind of like how it looks like but with this posted let's take a look at uh, how much it will add um, to the length of the pen so i think over um, just a few millimeters short of like six inches okay so maybe like 5.8 or something okay 5.8 5.9 um you know um inches uh, long okay so this is actually like um like a standard uh pen size okay so the cap posts um securely it does not wiggle or jiggle or anything like that so that is actually nice um let's take a look at the nib the nib of this pen looks different it's kind of like i don't know to me it kind of looks like a beak you know of a bird or something like that i don't know but it does look a little different you know than other um uh nibs now this one comes in 14 karat uh gold nib so as you can see this one is in like a white gold and it comes in like a rhodium um finish okay the feed looks like it's made of plastic but i am not sure about that um so the section is i think also made of resin the the cap also and uh, the body is made of resin but like i said they also make this in in metal now the filling mechanism of this pen is cartridge in cartridge and in converter so it does take a standard you know pilot propriety um cartridge so it has to be the pilot cartridge and then this is in a con 40 um converter so some of this pen uh come in like a con 50 i was hoping that mine would come in a con 50 but i was given you know a con 40. now for the price point so this particular pen i think retails for about 180 dollars and um, the Metal Falcon is, I think, $60 uh, more expensive than this one. And that, I think, retails for $240. Uh, so um, let's take a look at how um, the pen writes because 
you know that is why i bought it i wanted to know and see how this pen performs so mine comes in a soft fine nib but this pilot falcon um takes um you know a while uh, to soften you know it's not soft when you initially write with it i mean it it takes some um, i would say like breaking in or something like that but the more you write with it the softer um it becomes so this is soft fine but uh the point size is really really thin so i am going to be using my my Roman, uh, notebook to actually um show you a writing sample of this pen i'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see clearly so this is the old writing that I have when I reviewed the Sailor Pro Gear Slim. And it's I still have some more space in here. don't want to waste paper. So I'm just going to be using this same page. Maybe some sort of comparison as well, like the amount of flex that you can use, you know, with this pen. So this one is currently inked up with uh, the Kang Yu Yurameko ink. And the reason why I use that ink is kind of like to test how the ink would look like on paper because the Yurameku Kang Yu is one of the darker um, inks they have in their collection and I'm just curious as to how it would look like on paper. So as with any uh, pilot pen, this one does not disappoint. I mean, this is really an excellent um, pen and I really, really like it. Um, the fact that the nib size is soft will make you think, or I mean, the fact that the nib size is um, fine makes you think that it's going to be toothy or scratchy, but not at all. It's not scratchy. It's not toothy at all, unlike most fine nibs that I've tried. So this one has become my standard for like a fine nib. Like if I get a pen and it does not write, you know, as smoothly, as my pilot falcon i am kind of like disappointed because i am looking for that experience so i really like um the nib okay it's very reliable very smooth you know the the feed is wet so i like the fact that this actually is a wet writer and as you can see even though this is um, fine you can still see a good amount of shading um if you're using a shading ink you know with this pen so I really love that fact. So you can use this as a daily writer if you don't apply too much pressure um, on the paper. But if you vary your pressure, you will be able to create those thick and thin lines that um, you want for a calligraphic effect. So just to demonstrate that, let me flex this just a tiny bit. I really don't want to flex it too much because I'm kind of afraid that um, you know I will bend it out of place. But it does flex all right it does have uh, a nice uh, flex to it okay um, and I have not really write with it too much you know flexing it but like I said the longer you write with it the softer you know it becomes so let's just do that all right so this is actually how um, it looks like so the Kang Yu ink actually is like a um, it does look pale in here, you know, even though it's one of their, you know, darker inks in the Yurameko, um collection. But just in close up, this is how the flex looks like. And as you can see over here, you can see that um, shading in there. Okay, especially here in this one's here. Okay, when, when, when the ink pools on a certain place, that's where you see that good amount of shading in there. So let me um, write the name here so you would see how uh, it flexes. I'm going to write the name. So this is Pilot. Okay, Falcon. Okay. And the name that I have is in soft fine okay so sometimes it does railroad i don't know what happened there but that rarely happens though all right so as you can see i am able to create that nice um line variation with it and that is not um like the maximum pressure okay i don't want to flex it too much but i think you can still create a wider you know line than this but I am just careful with it. I don't want to flex it like way too much, but you know, um, it does flex. All right. 
So sometimes I am afraid that you know I might drop it and I might bend the bend the the nib point and something that I don't wanna happen. But this is how the Pilot Falcon rides. So as you can see, even though you know the nib is fine, you can still see a good amount of shading, you know, in there. Just because I know that this is um, a wet rider. And let me zoom out so you can see how um, it compares with the Sailor Pro Gear Slim that I had in my other video. So this writing uh, was um, written using the Sailor Pro Gear Slim. And that is also made of 14 karat um, gold. But that, that, that nib is a hard, hard nib. It, but it does flex, but, you know, there is a considerable amount of pressure that you would have to exert. And then this is how um, the Pilot um, Falcon writes. So the Pilot Falcon is really softer, you know, than the Sailor Pro Gear Slim. But both of them um, have the ability to uh, flex a little bit and create that nice um, line variation. So this is how um, the Pilot Falcon looks like. And the ink that I'm using here is the Yurameku. And this one is in Kang Yu. And this looks like and this looks like a gold I mean uh purple. What did I say gold? It looks like a purple lavender um kind of ink, but it also looks grayish, you know, on the paper. So it's kind of like lavender gray, um lilac gray purple gray whatever you call it so that's kind of how it looks like so that is the amount of flex that you can create with a pilot falcon again this is not like um, flexing it to the limit but just enough um pressure you know to create this beautiful calligraphic writing all right so the next thing that i'm going to do i'm going to show you some writing sample of um this pen oh by the way let me uh before that let me um, show you how this pen writes um, if you don't flex it. So um, let me zoom in a little bit. So I will just write the generic um, uh, sample. I would say um, the quick brown fox. So let me zoom out. So the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. So this is how it looks like um, if you are going to write, you know, with it normally or without really flexing your pen. So as you can see, the point size is really thin. However, you know, as thin as the point size, you wouldn't believe like how smooth the pen writes. I mean, it's not pretty at all. And it's such a pleasant writing experience. Um, it does not feel dry at all so which is very i would say uncommon for like finer nibs but um yeah it is a pleasure um to write with okay so that's how the writing is gonna look like if you're not gonna flex it all right so now um for a writing sample i'm gonna show you uh a code that i wrote you see my maroon uh no this is not maroon this is my dory um notebook so i'm using here exactly the same uh, pen and ink this is the the pen that i use and the ink that i use is the same so over here in this writing i have not flexed it so much and then i started flexing it and as you can see it does have that nice um line variation but then as i write this i'm not flexing it too much okay so just enough to create that nice line variation and then i'd like to um mark that this is the pen that I use and the ink that I use in case I need to reference it later on so I won't forget. So this is how um, the writing looks like. So the flex writing. All right. Now I'm going to show you how this looks like also if you are doing just a normal writing. So this is um, a sample. Let me zoom out. 
Okay, a sample writing, and I am I use a uh, Midori uh, grade notebook in here as well. I kind of like the Midori notebook because it's a little bit um, thicker than the Tomo River paper, and I can write on both sides because there's um, little uh, ghosting, and you know I just can um, write on both sides. Something that I think I could not do with the Tomo. I can, I can. I can, but I'd rather not to, but that's why maybe the, I prefer the Midori more than the Toma River. But this is how um, the writing looks like if you do not flex it. All right, so as you can see, it writes beautifully. And um, yeah, I mean, I cannot complain with this. And this is one of my go-to uh, pens. I mean, Pilot is one of my go-to pens. And I like the fact that even though the point size is very thin, the ink flow is not dry at all and the nib is smooth you know for a fine nib so that's how um the writing looks like so that's about um the pilot falcon let me know your thoughts if you have any questions comments suggestions so feel free to drop them in the comment section below and um if you like this video don't forget to hit uh like and if you um want to subscribe if you have not subscribed already just hit the subscribe button so you would be notified when i upload my next video and thank you so much for watching have a good day bye